What's up, Truth? This is Ben, and I want to talk about something that struck me as weird uh, that I was watching the other day. Now, I've uh, noticed this before, and I've probably mentioned it before. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a video. I know I've mentioned it uh, other places when I've talked to people, maybe uh, when I've taught classes. But it's just kind of interesting. And the thing that I've been thinking about is why do aliens hate Christianity? Let me explain. I know it's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird statement to start off with. Uh, now, what I'm talking about is, I was reminded of this, I was watching a Michael Heiser video. Now, he has a YouTube channel, or a podcast called Peer Renormal, where he uh, reviews peer-reviewed articles, right? These are professional articles, these aren't just, you know, people online, or people on YouTube, or, you know, bloggers, or whatever. No, this is peer-reviewed research by uh, very intelligent, very um, studied people, doctors, people with doctorates, and people at universities, and things like that. And he's talking about aliens. And it is interesting that every time you look at aliens, there is kind of this divide between the secular world and the religious world, right? Or in my case, the Christian world. And that divide is that it seems like the secular world is almost really only interested in close encounters of the first, second, and third kind, right? There's four different kinds of encounters where I think they've actually expanded it to maybe five or six kind of encounters. Um, it's been updated. It depends on, you know, where you read. But you have uh, first, second, and third uh, encounters. So close encounters of the first, second, and third kind are when you see alien ships, right? The first kind is like a very mild, uh, like, oh, I think I saw something. And then the second is a much more close. And then the third, I believe, is where the encounter, like there's some kind of a physical distortion, right? You see a ship, the ship actually landed, it left uh, a burnt spot on the ground, right? And that's a, a, an encounter of the close, or the third kind, a close encounter of the third kind. So there's a physical, um, some kind of a physical disturbance on Earth. And those are, are very rare. And it seems like the secular world mostly stops there. But there's a fourth kind. And that fourth kind is the abduction experience. Now, Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind was a movie with, uh, I believe it was Mia Jovovich. I think I'm saying her name right. Right. So, most people, when they think of Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind, they think of that movie. Now, that movie, I haven't looked at the history of it and, you know, the real story behind it and all that. And it was Hollywoodized, obviously. So I'm not going to mention, you know, talk about that. But the thing to remember is that A Close Encounter of the Fourth Kind is an abduction case. And it strikes me as odd that the secular world doesn't really spend a lot of time looking at abductions. But the religious or Christian world does. And I think I know why. Because when you look at um, Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind, there seems like there's always a message. And that message is always almost liberal. It's really weird. You know, aliens are very concerned, uh, you know, with the planet and mankind and how we're being destructive and how we need to limit our numbers and watch the environment. And if we can just kind of get, you know, and the message kind of varies depending on who you talk and depending on who has supposedly talked to an alien. But the message is always kind of a liberal, globalistic idea, you know, and everybody's okay. And they're kind of like almost like a new agey uh, message that always comes from them. You know, it's okay to believe this and believe that, you know, and it's all right if you're a Buddhist or a Hindu or a New Age or if you're just spiritual, you know, that's fine. Aliens don't seem to have a problem with that, but they take issue with Christianity, specifically Christianity and Jesus Christ. And it's very weird. It's weird that an alien race doesn't seem to have issue or problems or they don't run into or kind of um, butt heads with any religion except for Christianity. If you're a monotheist and you believe John 14, right? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, right? If you believe that, then the aliens don't like you and they think you're living incorrectly and you need to, you know, kind of leave behind those archaic old beliefs and kind of, you know, jump into this new age of consciousness. And see, that's another thing too, because aliens used to just be off world, right? First aliens, you know, and this is another reason. <laughs> Kind of a side note, but I just kind of remember this. Aliens used to be from Venus and Mars, right? They were from Venus and Mars when they abducted people or when they spoke to people, right? Because there's this really weird subset of spirituality where people get possessed by aliens. And they don't call it possessing, but they get possessed by aliens and the aliens talk through them, right? And so in the 60s and 70s, and maybe up into the 80s, they were from Venus or Mars. And then we actually went to Venus and Mars. We sent probes and they're like, ooh, well, we're not really there or we're invisible, right? We're spiritual, now, we're further out. We're, you know, Pluto, Jupiter, we're further out. And we sent probes out there. Ooh, yeah, sorry. We're not actually from there. We're from further, way further out. Yeah, sorry. We're from another dimension, you know, another universe. 
and now they're from another dimension. And their message, it, it kind of has changed and molded over time. And it seems like alien abductions kind of point towards possession, right? There's almost a direct correlation. And people have done studies on this and looked at this, Christians and non-Christians alike. And an abduction experience is very similar to a possession experience. And there's an interesting person. Uh, you could look at Michael Heiser. He's He's got good stuff online. Um, he's very intelligent. He has you know, PhDs and doctorates in uh, biblical languages. He knows biblical Greek. He knows Hebrew. He knows Masoretic texts and things like that. But he also has kind of delved into the paranormal world, which is, is good for somebody of his, um, you know, his merit to look at something like that. You need educated, smart, clear-thinking people to look at issues like this. But another person is Joe Jordan. He is the first person, I think, that I really watched and took serious uh, when I looked into this because he had this experience when he was working for MUFON. So he was not a Christian. He was kind of a, you know, a, a very subjective, vaguey kind of new age, you know, people like, oh, I'm spiritual, but I don't have any specific beliefs. And he noticed that MUFON and many, many other uh, prominent people in the alien community were kind of ignoring abduction cases because the abduction cases look like possession and the things that aliens say seem to almost cement the idea that they're demonic. And it's, it's just interesting that they avoid that area constantly. And so it seems like aliens hate Jesus, but they don't hate anybody else. They don't hate, you know, Krishna or Buddha or, you know, any of the Hindu gods. They don't hate New Agers or Spiritists or any of that other stuff, but they don't like Christianity. They don't like objective monotheism in any way, shape, or form, and Jesus specifically. So I just think it's interesting. Uh, maybe this, this piques your interest. You know, this isn't, I haven't done a million, you know, I don't have a million hours of recorded ideas behind this or anything like that, but I'd suggest go watch Joe Jordan. Uh, maybe type in Joe Jordan uh, Alien, and he's got a couple of videos up. I think there's a YouTube channel called Alien Resistance. I think it's on there. Uh, there's another guy, My, Guy Malone. Interesting. Uh, he has a support group in Nevada right um at the uh and i think every year when the roswell like there's a festival around roswell new mexico right because of the the ufo uh, stuff surrounding roswell but he has it's kind of like a christian support group for people who were abducted or they thought they were abducted by aliens they kept going through these abduction experiences and then they would get snapped out of them and some of them were snapped out of it by saying the name of jesus and they were instantly snapped out of the abduction experience much like a possession case. So I think there's a lot more credibility in abductions or close encounters of the fourth kind, right? Abduction stories. That leads me to believe that the alien phenomenon is demonic in nature. You know, because they always, it is interesting because when you look at history, you want primary sources. You want to hear from the horse's mouth, right? That's an expression we all know. You want to hear from the person themselves what they think in order to get a clear understanding of their position. So if you want to know what aliens think, you have to listen to what they say. And one way to listen to what they say is through abduction cases. And those abduction cases always seem like they're secular, left-leaning, liberal, globalist New Agers. It's very bizarre. So just uh, food for thought. Yeah, look up uh, Michael Heiser, uh, some of his paranormal stuff, the Unseen Realm maybe, things like that. Look up Joe Jordan. And just spend some time looking at it and ask yourself, you know, it's and it seems weird, especially if, if you're not a Christian, right? If you're not a Christian, you're an atheist or an ag agnostic, and you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? He's talking about, you know, aliens and demons and UFOs and all this weird stuff. Look at Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind. Look at the abductees' testimonies. What do aliens say? What do they say about religion, what do they say about Christianity, what is their actual message coming from them? And then, you know, make your own decisions from there. But I just hope this helps. I just wanted to pique your interest. It was something I was watching the other day, and I kind of was like, yeah, that's, that's something I thought about, but I don't know if I've put it in a video, uh, maybe one of my earlier videos, you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, bring it back up again and, and get people thinking. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you have, let's see, do you have, or do you know anybody uh, on YouTube or online that has had a an abduction experience and they've 
come to the realization that it was demonic? Or what do you think about aliens and what they actually say? You know, their primary, what's, what are, what are aliens saying, right? Have you looked into this close encounters of the fourth kind? Um, I don't care about the third kind, you know, one, two, three. That's, I don't, that's not as important as hearing what aliens actually have to say. So just let me know down in the comments down below if you can think of anybody other else like Joe Jordan or like Michael Heiser that maybe we could look at. Uh, that would be helpful to further this discussion. And uh, yeah, like this video or dislike it, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for more. See you later, guys.